Welcome to our lecture online. Since we're dealing with partial differential equations, we should understand what partial derivatives are. And in order to do that, we're going to do a graphical example of what a partial derivative is. So let's say we have a function u defined as being dependent on two independent variables, x and y. And so that's defined by x times y squared. So u is equal to x times y squared. So on a xy plane, we can see that if we have certain values for x and certain values for y, and we use the definition of our function, we can find the values of that function for various combinations of x and y. For example, the function when x equals 1 and y equals 1 is equal to 1 right here because that would equal 1 times 1 squared. When x equals 2 and y equals 1, it's equal to 2 because that would be 2 times 1 squared, and when x equals 3 and y is equal to 1, that would be equal to 3 because it's 3 times 1 squared. Of course, when we have different values, for example, when x equals 1 and y equals 2, that would be equal to, the, the value of u would be equal to 1 times 2 squared, which is 4. When x equals 1 and y equals 3, that would be 1 times 3 squared, which is 9. And when x equals 2 and y equals 2, that would be equal to 2 times 2 squared, which is 8. And so you can find those values over here on the xy plane. So what happens now when we take our function and we take the partial derivative of our function with respect to x and we take our, the partial derivative of our function with respect to y? So when we take it with respect to x, y becomes a constant and that would simply be y squared, and here when we take the derivative with respect to y, that means x is equal to a constant, and so that means that 2y times a constant or 2xy. So these are the partial derivatives, this one with respect to x, and this one with respect to y. So what we're going to do now is try to interpret what that partial derivative actually means. It means how much the function changes, the function being u, when x changes, and here this, this means how much the function u changes when y changes. That's what we mean by the definition. And of course, this means that we're going to keep y constant, and this means we're going to keep x constant, so we might want to write that. So this means y is constant in this case, because we took the partial derivative with respect to x, and here x is constant, because we took the partial derivative with respect to y. So here x is a constant. Okay. Again, it's a little confusing sometimes, so we've got to be very careful. When we take the partial derivative of u with respect to x, y is constant. When we take the partial derivative of u with respect to y, x is constant. So now, what happens? When y has a value equal to 1, and we want to change x by 1, what is the partial of u with respect to x? So let's see here, since we are given the equation, it's y squared, and we have y is equal to 1, so then when adult x changes by 1, then y will change by 1 squared. So this would be equal to 1 squared, which is equal to 1. Let's verify that on our table. So here we have y is equal to 1. And if x changes by 1, so we go from x equals 1 to x equals 2, or x equals 2, x equals 3. Notice when we change x by 1, the value of u changes by 1. So that's exactly what this means. The value of u changes by 1 when we make a change in x. So now, what if y is equal to 2? When we change x by 1, how much does the function change? So when y is equal to 2, notice the function changes by 4, from 4 to 8, from 8 to 12, from 12 to 16. Does that indeed hold through? Well, when y is equal to 2, and partial of u with respect to x is y squared, that means that this is 2 squared, which is indeed 4, which bears out on our graph. All right, what if y is equal to 3 and we change x by 1? When y is equal to 3, then the function u changes by 9 from 9 to 18, from 18 to 27, from 27 to 36. Is that indeed the case? Well, let's see here. Partial of y with respect to x is equal to y squared, and when y is equal to 3, that means this is 3 squared, which is indeed is equal to 9. So again, it bears out. It seems to make sense. Now let's do it this way. The partial of the function with respect to y is equal to 2xy. How much does the function change when y changes, let's say, by 1, and we keep, x equal, we keep x constant? So in this case, since we have the partial of u with respect to y defined with both variables, we need to have values for both. So let's take the case when x equals 2 and y is equal to 2. That would be this case right here. So the function has a value of 8. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to change y by 1. So we can change y by 1 going in the direction upward, or we can change y by 1 by going downward. Notice since this is not a linear function in this direction, it changes as y squared, we're going to get different values if we go up or if we go down. What if we take the average distance or the average change? Notice from there to there, from 8 to 18, that's a change of 10, and from 8 to 2, that's a change of 6. The average change is 8. All right, let's see what we get here when we plug that in here. So the change is going to be 2 times x times y, so that's 2 times x, which is 2, times y, which is 2, and so you can see that 2 times 2 times 2 is indeed 8, which is the average value we get when we either go up or down. So that means the partial derivative of the function with respect to y, when x is constant, x stays constant, so we go up or down. The average value going up or down together gives us indeed this value. What if we go to x equals 3 and y equals 2? So now we go to this value right here. And again, how much does the function change when we let y change by 1 going up or going down? If we go up, we go from 12 to 27, the change is 15. When we go down, we go from 12 to 3, the change is 9. 9 plus 15, that's 24. The average change would be 12. Let's see if we get that when we plug that in here. So it would be 2 times x, x is 3, and y is 2. And that would be 6 times 2, which is 12. And again, it seems to bear out. It shows that if we make a change in the function, if we change one of the independent variables and leave the other one constant, in this case, if we leave x constant, we move up or down. If we keep y constant, we move left or right. And in each case, we see that the change in the function, the change in the value, does indeed match the partial derivative of the function with respect to x or the partial derivative of the function with respect to y. And that's what we mean by partial derivatives. How much does the function change when we leave one variable constant and we change the other one? Or we take the first one and keep it constant and change the second one. And that's how we graphically illustrate what a partial derivative is. And that's how we understand it.